Hello, I am here today in hopes of uh, explaining to you the differences or maybe similarities um, of standard deviation, variance, and sum of squares. I am a senior in college here uh, myself and I've had some difficulties in the past with these said subjects. So um, luckily I've had um, pretty uh, adept professors who have explained to me methodically how to really work through the problem without becoming too confused because trust me it can definitely be confusing especially for those who aren't as math inclined as others but um, hopefully this will help you get through whatever issues you have um, so yeah let's begin I've already worked out a problem here that I'm going to break down for you methodically and I always uh, say methodically because I always make sure I write down the steps it has to be detailed because once you start cutting corners especially if you're new to this once you begin cutting corners you lose something in a lot of cases you may miscalculate you may uh, add wrong you, whatever you may do uh, you may do by cutting corners okay so here is the equation that I've actually already written up that, I, again, I'm going to break down for you step by step in hopes that you get this. All right. And don't be freaked out by what I have here. I'm going to explain exactly what you see starting from, uh, excuse me, starting from this hand here. All right. As you can see, there are four columns. I always use columns because it always, again, makes it very meticulous, very, very methodical in, in uh, my layout, my format. I'm never confused. I don't, I don't get things mixed up. It's very detailed. Okay, so I always, first and foremost, use columns. That may not help you, but it certainly helped me. Okay. All right. So beginning with the first column labeled X. X is simply the raw scores that are presented to you in any problem. I mean, whether it's a problem asking you how many cookies Bobby Joe has eaten or how many cups of juice Jill ate, uh, drank, excuse me. It doesn't matter what the problem's asking you. It's really just the numbers that you need to really be concerned about in most cases. Okay? So, as you can see, the raw scores are 3, 1, 7, 0, 6, 3, two and six okay now what you do first and foremost again aside from making columns is uh, find the mean uh, and that's simple enough we've learned that in grade school but if you need a refresher course you just take all these scores here in the X column add them up I got 28 all right then you'll take in as you can see here where the arrow is you'll take in which is just the number of scores there there are eight numbers there Okay, so you'll take the total, which is 28, and divide it by the numbers that are actually there. There are eight numbers. So 28 divided by 8, which equals 3.5. Okay, we're moving along to the next column, which is the mean column. Okay, it's entitled M for a reason over here. All right, so I have 3.5 all down here along every single one of my raw scores. And I have a minus sign in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these raw scores and I'm going to minus my mean. Okay, I'm going to subtract my mean. So 3 minus 3.5, 1 minus 3.5, 7 minus 3.5, and so on. Okay, what that will give me is my DS. That's the third column, my deviation score. All right, that's basically just telling you how much these scores that are subtracted, the mean, from the raw score is from the mean okay and I'll try to explain that more as we go on um, so just again once you subtract these two uh, categories here you'll get the DS so 3 minus 3.5 gives you negative 0.5 1 minus 3.5 gives you negative 2.5 7 minus 3.5 gives you 3.5 and so on down the line now as you can see I've gotten zero here you always have to get zero uh, in this case whenever you're calculating the deviation score you always have to get zero if you don't get zero when you add all these bad boys up uh, 
you miscalculated somewhere along the lines. Okay? All right, so moving along to the fourth column. As you know, you cannot have um, negative scores. So what you need to do is square these to get rid of those scores. That is the deviation squared. So it's just the DS with a square root sign. Okay? So what I did is I just took negative 0.5 squared, or if you don't know what that means, just negative 0.5 times negative 0.5. Okay? It gives me a positive 0.25. Uh, negative 2.5 times negative 2.5 is positive 6. Uh, positive 6.25 excuse me and so on down the line same thing just square every one of them and you'll get all these values here okay now when you add all these values up which you have to do you get 46 this 46 is called the sum of squares that is the sum which is just the uh, product of all these added up, the end result of all these numbers added up, of these deviations squared. I took these numbers right here, squared them, and added them up. Okay, remember the deviations are just the uh, amount of spread between uh, the mean. So if I have a mean of 3.5 as I have here, it's just the amount of spread that each one has, okay? Uh, so 46 would be the uh, sum of squares, uh, and then your next step would be to go down just as I did for the mean over here, and divide by n. n is just the number of values there. So I'll take whatever I got when I added up the sum, divided by the amount of numbers I had, which is eight, just like uh, the mean. So 46 divided by 8 gives you 5.75 uh, okay the 5.75 is the variance okay that is actually as I said earlier actually the um, one number that is the spread away from the mean okay uh, which is similar to the uh, standard deviation which is the last step in the process so what you do for the standard deviation is very simple, probably more simple than any of the other steps that we've spoken about. You can see down here, standard deviation is just the variance squared. So I take my 5.75 and I square root it, excuse me, square root it, okay? You don't square it, you square root. So 5.75, square root of that, it's 2.398 okay that is your standard deviation okay I'll show you on my calculator how I did that real quick okay so we have 5.75 okay 5.75 let me back that up it's kind of hard okay You'll hit the top yellow button if you have a TI-83 calculator. You'll hit this. Oh, excuse me. Let me start over. My apologies. You'll first hit the yellow button and then the square root button right here. As you can see, the square root sign with the parentheses inside pops up. Okay. Then you'll type in 5.75. Don't forget, when you have that, you have to be able to finish off by putting the closed parentheses, okay? All right, now you hit enter. Remember, the closed parentheses is right there. Okay, so you'll hit that first. I mean, you'll hit uh, this first to get the square root up and running. All right, and then you'll type in the 5.75, close parentheses, and see enter here okay 2.39 which is what we got 2.39 and it says 79 there but I rounded okay I rounded to 8 which is typically done okay if you have a number of above 5 so again I'm point out to you you first do columns 
usually four. You'll do the uh, mean, which is x. Excuse me, the raw score. My apologies. The raw score, which is x. The mean, which is uh, just the average of all the raw scores. All right, then the deviation squared. This should be the deviation, then the deviation squared. My apologies, I'm looking at two different things. All right, so raw score is x, just scores given to you. This is the average of those raw scores added up and divided by the number there. You'll get the deviation score right here, which is just subtracting the raw score from the mean each time. Square that, and you'll get the deviation squared. Okay, which is 46. Remember, 46 is going to be the what? It's going to be the sum of squares. Sum of the deviation squared. All right. Uh, to get the variation, you'll just take the amount of numbers there, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and divide by the total that you got when you add them up. So 46 is what I got when I added them up, and I divide by 8 which is the uh, total amount of numbers there. So 46 divided by 8 is 5.75, which is the variance. And to get the standard deviation, you would just uh, square root that to get 2.398. OK? Uh, I hope that wasn't uh, confusing. Uh, I tried to make it as detail-oriented and as clear and lucid as possible. And definitely good luck. Good luck.